So today we're going to start in 867 and we have one simple challenge. We want to make an empire out of every single island on the map. So we're going to take everything. All these little guys, all these, and all the others down here. And we're going to try and start our own little empire. But we are starting as Malta. You know, a wonderful place in real life. But in the game, pretty terrible. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a really awful start. <laughs> and we are a vassal to the Basilius. So we've got that to deal with as well. And probably at some point, we're going to need to try and get our independence. So we may have to cause some havoc within the empire. First thing I'm going to do, is we're going to modify the contract. We're going to give him high levies. And we're going to guarantee council rights. And then we're going to demand to be his steward. So we're up to 3.7 gold per month now, which is fantastic. But of course, when we go into stewardship focus, we probably won't stay on stewardship in all our characters. But just for the first character, I need to try and build a couple things because Malta is pretty awful. It comes with a wooden barracks built. We only have one holding, so we need to make this as profitable as can be. We do start off with one son, but he is pretty terrible. Like, yeah, awful. He's like actually awful. All right, we're going to marry him for an alliance. We're just going to marry him off. Don't quite care about him. We can request a divorce. I'm going to do that. It's going to cost us 100 piety. Let's get rid of her. Yeah, you're gone. And let's try and find someone who can help us with our income. Well, and hopefully have some better children with. Ooh, there's a genius there. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm sorry to the other person, but you know, got to do what we got to do. But of course, yeah, our liege does start in a war. He'll probably win, so nothing major will change. Okay, we are under siege from this war. Hopefully it ends soon because there's not a lot. We, we can't influence this war, really. So the Cretan culture has diverged from the Greeks. It's, it's a better culture. Maybe we'll go for this island first and actually become that culture. Because, yeah, maritime mercantilism... We can build trade ports a whole era early. And all coastal holdings in counties of this culture provide additional 10% extra tax. And we're only going to have coastal holdings, so that is huge for us. I might go and steal that culture at some point. Sun, intelligent. You know what? That's still pretty good. Liege won their war. Fantastic. So that's out the way. My holdings unseaged. We can build a trade port. Right, so we're going to pick up cutting cornerstones first. And then buildings in the future will be a little bit cheaper, which is fantastic for us. But yeah, what I'm going to try and do is maybe my first character or two will be stewardship just to you know build up that good base that we desperately need and then maybe i'll switch like maybe i'll learn to get that development up fast right then we're gonna get golden obligations i'm gonna try and find some dirt on some people and blackmail them okay we got some guys love a secret we'll try and blackmail him there we are and then yeah 50 gold just like that one of the best ways to get money early game now we can upgrade that trade port and this is the route i'm gonna take to start another lover secret let's hope 60%. So, he refused. You know what? If you refuse, we will expose it. Like, I, why wouldn't I? Get fucked. We got a son, but he was only quick. So, not, not great. We haven't got a genius yet. Yeah, we need to call a hunt because our stress is shooting up. But we're going to get some men at arms. But I am going to get some armored footmen. Mainly because I kind of want some heavy infantry. We're going to be doing a lot of, like, boarding onto islands. So, like, if we say go your neck, I don't think quicker sieges is going to be as effective as just good troops. We can ask our head of faith for gold. We're going to do that, of course. There's nothing else we really need. I think getting centralization was the last thing we might need. So I may actually go and get this. Yeah, increased development in county efficiency plus 20%. Now we can get some bonuses to our skills even, so we may as well. So this guy's potentially going to be our heir. We don't want him to have shy at all. Impatient. Yeah, go on then. We'll take that stress and we'll see if we can get rid... Whoa. Why are we so close to death? Really, the stress level is pushing me that much to stress? Like, I don't know why we're so close to dying. We only got a little bit of stress. I didn't think it was that serious, like. Let's try and get that down quick. Lover's secret? Nice. Let's try and get all the money then before we, I guess, die. Oh, because we're forgiving, we're gaining stress by doing all of this. That's what it is then. And forgiving characters are some of the worst. So we have reached the max level of stress. So we're going to become a lunatic, basically, is what is going to happen. Or we lose one level of fame. Yeah, you know what? I think I... Do we want to become a lunatic? Yeah, you know what? We'll become a lunatic. Why not? But we need to lose this stress now, though. Oh, my God. We actually died. Okay, so... He died of heart failure. All oh, right. Fantastic. Now with this guy. He's not great. I'm going to be honest. But let's demand the position again. Get all that set up. It doesn't matter too much, to be honest. Oh, this guy does have a kid already. Hunched back, bossy kid. He's diligent, though, which is, you know, pretty good, actually. Are we also forgiven? What? <laughs> no. The Shadow Lumen. Apparently, the Basilius knows something about us. Am I paranoid? No. Do I have a secret? Non-believer. Right, that may be a problem. Oh, yeah, he does have the blackmail hook on me as well, look. Oh, 
High taxes. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. There's nothing we can do about that. Right. So this guy has about a thousand troops, similar to us, really. So we are going to need either some mercenaries or a good ally to come with us. Now, we do have one daughter we can marry off. So we could get 1,000 troops. They're at war, though. We want someone not at war. So maybe first, we're going to get a claim there. See, we need it on both of them, really. I want to get both of them in one war. So we're going to keep trying until we do get a duchy claim. How good is he? 20? He's pretty good. So it might not take too long, actually. Yeah, we are going to build some walls and towers as well for the final building slot. Because, you know, we're not going to have much land. So we want at least want to make the land we do have pretty defendable. Nice. You got a murder secret? I'm on to you. How is our stress? We'll do one more. And then we'll get our stress down before we blackmail anybody else. Our son comes of age. He's not terrible. Uh, really? I'm not in denial. Your half-sister. We will not be doing that. It's like the perfect age, though. It's like half-sister. I mean, it's not really related. Really. Kind of. I don't know. I'm sure they'll be fine. My beloved sister. <sighs> Come on. Like, you just married her to your son as well. Stop. You know what? Yeah, get a grip. No. Not happening. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go for the one county. So, we're going to do that, and we're going to call both of our allies. Or all three of them, apparently. All of you. We need all of your help, please. And you know what? We're going to go so overkill just to make sure we win this. You know what? Let's get some bowmen as well. And raise all. Merge them all into one big army. Only reason I'm going so overkill is because it, you know, it can be quite difficult attacking somebody on an island. Because if they're defending there, you're kind of screwed. Okay, there's 2,000 coming there. Where are they going? Okay, they're going straight there. Let's join them. Oh, nice. He's jumped straight up. We have so... Look at this, how many secrets we've got. We can't use them because we do this. We'll just die of stress. So, you know, great. Nice. Let's jump straight in there for the wall target then. Yes, let's go. Nice. We didn't even have to siege the land we're getting either. So hopefully the control's not... Okay, it's still, still terrible. Now, I want to see, can we convert to this culture? Because... Do I have to put my capital here, maybe? Because I would like to actually convert to this. And I mean, it'd make a better capital anyway. Let's just move the realm capital. And now... We can convert to a local culture. So let's do that. And we're now the cultural head as well, which is great. We do have scientific and we can actually pick and choose what we actually want. So I'm going to go with mustering ground so we can get some more men arms on the go. We kind of really need that, to be honest with you. So right now, yeah, we can only have that and that's it, which is not great. So there we are. Look, we're already up to 9.1 gold a month because I've built trade ports in both of my areas. I'm currently upgrading that one. I'm going to build some hilltop farms. So I'm going to spend probably the rest of this guy's life just building and upgrading. So in that way, when the next air takes over, we have a way better base and hopefully our culture... Yeah, it's not far off getting this. So in our next life, actually in, in 19 months, we'll be able to have even more men at arms. So we might actually do some, some attacking maybe. But we'll have to wait and see. Oh, I swear the game is just trying to kill me. Another event where I have to get critical stress. Here we are, we discovered it. So now we can get a whole extra regiment. And we can upgrade these to size 5. So I'm going to move on to city planning, try and get some more buildings done for sure. The Northman army are actually attacking our uh, liege. Did anyone else used to be like terrified of the Northman army? And then you realize, oh, they literally just come with loads of levies. So as long as you have like one somewhat decent men at arms little army going, you can absolutely destroy them. Nice, we can get learn on the job. So we get 20% of our counselors' primary skills added to our own. Oh, well, we can create the Duchy of Crete, because they're not actually a dupe. So you might as well, just for a flex. Yeah, we are. We even got a cool hat. What's not to love? Right, we've just unlocked the ability to buy claims as well. So I might put that to use, maybe. I think next, we're going to try and go for these two. Can we attack you? Yeah. So yeah, we can buy a claim on you. It's going to cost us 250 piety, and then we could get the county. So we probably will try and do that once or twice before we die. Oh, well, we've fully upgraded our archers and we can get one more. I might look into maybe one thing of siege equipment now then. Just to finish up. And we got a pretty decent army then, I think. Oh, I died of old age? Damn, I was hoping this kid was going to take over. Didn't expect to die of old age of 60. I mean, I know it's possible. I'm not expecting that. But right, he's one away. So what we could do, disinherit this girl. We need a little bit more prestige. We can disinherit her. And then this kid will eventually take over. So I think that's... Pretty good thing to do. Oh, he's our vassal. Um, Yeah, we'll leave him as our vassal for now. Whatever, that's fine. What, our gold's gone terrible. You know what? We're only 41. We're going to try and seduce her, see if we can have a kid with her. Because, But either way, we're going to up our crown authority and we're going to try and revoke that kid's titles. Because I feel like it's making a lot of money. We're not getting, yeah, three gold a month. 
So we want that back. So in prison. And he's going to be like, oh, no, I'd rather you didn't or whatever. But first, actually, let's raise all like that. Move them over here. Now, once they're here, are we able to imprison him? Yes, do that. He said no. Okay, we're not sieging, though. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe if we're quick getting back on, we can kind of get there before his armies have had a chance to raise. No. All right. Okay, fair enough. Nice, we did have another sun and play array anyway, so we're going to see how he turns out anyway. He got sickly, oh god. <laughs> okay, we revoked that guy's title, uh, so we're going to get rid of his claims, and we're going to be one recruit. Okay, so do what you want then. Just get rid of your claims, please. Okay, we're up to a bit more money. We're going to have to sort the control out, but we're almost back to where we were. Let's just hope we can live long enough for this kid to actually be an adult this time. He didn't turn out that good anyway, so... You know what? Fair enough. We don't need him. We are going to start making a claim, though. We're going to go for this. They're independent anyway, so we're going to try and get this land. Oh, we joined the medieval era. Uh, yeah, let's move on then. We're going to try... So we need battle months to upgrade our actual castles and that. So we're going to do that. So yeah, we're going to start on battle months. It's going to take 28 years. Not too bad at all. So we did pick up scientific. So that's definitely helping. Right, we got the claim. Let's go for it. We should be able to smash this guy. Oh, actually, he's got... Mm, okay, he's got some decent allies, though. So we'll save up for the prestige and then we'll go for it. We might even marry my daughter off. Maybe get an alliance. Yeah, let's do that. Marry off an alliance. We can call them to our war then. We can't declare war for our claim on this county anymore. I have no idea why. So you know what? We're just going to do a holy war for the county. Not sure what's going on there and why I can't use my claim because I still have it. But yeah, not going to happen apparently. We can disembark right here. Wait for the penalty to go. And once it's gone, let's jump in. Go straight for them. And we captured them. We're getting really lucky with these captures lately. But we already got a claim on this person's land. So let's go for this as well. Right. But right. why can't I use my claims? Like, I just got a claim on this county and I can't use it. Yeah, what is going on? I can't push claims. Don't know. That's interesting. Our liege's crown authority is not free. So it's not stopping me from fighting other vassals. And I 100% have a claim, but I can't push it. I don't know why. I'll try and make a claim somewhere else and see if the problem carries on. Maybe like this guy here. We'll, we'll get a claim up here and see what happens down here. Right, so we just got the claim. Let's see. Okay, we can declare war on this guy, but not you. I have no idea why, because, yeah, you should not be stopping me declaring war. Right, let's actually go for war for this now then. We should easily be able to win this. We're going to raise our troops in Malta, get them all up on the go, and we're just going to do a big siege. Guy has a really cool county banner, though. I've never seen it before. I imagine it's always the same. I just never noticed it. Rooster, who doesn't want that? And of course, there's a mine down here, right? Somewhere you can build a mine. Yeah, I think we are going to want this as well. I'll make a great capital if you're doing like an island only sort of thing. Okay, the guy down the south this guy anyway with his ally and he's come along but we're also defeating his army so pretty tamping for you guys there we are so we got another county again now do we think we could take on i think we could to be honest we're gonna go for it we're gonna go for this we need to do fast expanding now i think oh my god again what is wrong with this family stop no yeah get a grip no not happening no no, every game can't just turn to fucking incest simulator. Like, it's not happening. Right, we got the claim. Let's go for it. I think we can win. Your claims? Here we are. We're just going to go for this county for now. Always take the rest a little bit later. God, please hurry up and raise. Okay, great. Let's catch this army then. Right, come of age. Let's see. You know what? You got Mastermind Philosopher. Uh, 16 is not bad. You know what? I'm happy enough with that. We're going to try and find someone good for him to marry, though. Maybe a genius? No. Okay. <laughs> intelligent yeah we'll marry him to an intelligent woman not bad 17 he's 16 perfect let's get that on the go then so this guy's gonna take over all our land so hopefully he makes some good choices with his perks oh we see some chainmail armor it looks like let's get that on right we've won that so we're gonna want to focus down here and we're gonna want to build the mine plus three gold a month on the first level which is huge we're gonna focus our control down here as well i think at some point, this will become our capital, this island here. This will be our main base. Then maybe we'll give some of these away to some vassals in the future. For now, we can hold it all. That's exactly what we're going to do. You know, maybe we'll try learn their language, get some acceptance up. Because I'm probably not going to bother converting the cultures. I'll do faiths, but just not, probably not cultures. Got died of 59 of natural causes. Once again, but at least we got one guy to take everything over. And currently hold five. Okay, we're going to go into stewardship, try and increase our domain limit first and foremost. Or at least we've taken someone out quite young. And hopefully we can get quite a bit done in this guy's life. Right, peasant revolt. We're going to have to deal with that fast. 
Right, if they leave this thing, they're going to raise all right here and they're going to absolutely destroy this revolt because, you know, who doesn't love just killing their own realm's people? Um, yep. Here we are. Fantastic. And we captured him. You know what? He's pretty good, actually. But we are going to execute you. Yes. Who are you? Have you been imprisoned for six years? I'm sorry. You can go. Just convert or something. Yeah, right. You can go. Sorry about that. Off you go. Go live the rest of your life out. Be a free man. Right, we can do holy war for the duchy and take the rest of this. We just need a bit more piety. Let's spend the money. Go on a pilgrimage. We'll go to Jerusalem. Let's go. So we can gain 100 stress, which is, you know, a ridiculous amount. But we can get athletic. Yeah, let's do that. Athletic's great. There we are. So we got the trait pilgrim. And now we can declare war, holy war for the duchy. Are we ready? Let's check. I'm... Uh, we shouldn't need mercenaries. We'll see if anyone else gets involved. Yeah, we are going to try and get the full duchy. And if that works, we'll give some land over here away, maybe. Plus, she's on her way to another war, which is great. Oh, she's coming straight back. Oh, my God, no. That did not just happen. Oh, no. Okay, we got most of our troops back. That's fine. Not so bad. Ooh. Culture clash. There's a 46% chance that the culture changes to ours. Yes. That's great. That saves us a bit of work. Here we are, 100%. So now we've got the whole duchy. And we currently hold nine out of six counties. Now, these are just... They're not going to be as built up. I may just hold everything myself for now until I've built this up quite a lot. And then I'll give away maybe this. So we spent a fair bit of money, you know, building some of this up. Especially these two. That's great now. We've got a good chunk. We've got a decent base right now. And we actually have a lot of money. So we're going to go through and just start building everywhere up here. But right, we're actually going to move our capital over here and prepare to start making this island our main one. Because if we do that, we'll start getting all the bonuses to our um, development in our capital. So I think we should start doing that straight away. We've got a son who's intelligent. Fantastic. So we're going to start educating him ourselves. We have a court tutor who is good. Don't have anyone better, but you know what? It's, that's good enough. If we create the Duchy of Sardinia, we could make the Kingdom of Crete. So I might actually make this Duchy title. Yeah, let's do it. We could make the Kingdom of Sardinia, but oh yeah, we'll be better off making this kingdom in we if this is going to be our capital. We just need 500 gold. I think I'm going to do that. Fantastic. There we are. The Kingdom of Sardinia. So let's do that. We even have our own courtroom for some artifacts on display. Lovely looking courtroom. So we're up to 21 gold per month. Officially a king. Okay, we didn't get DJ Ray claims on that guy. We did get battlement. Ooh, so that means we can actually upgrade the castles, which is huge. We're going to give this away, actually. We're going to grant it to someone. We'll have a vassal. Why not? Yeah, we'll give it to this guy. I think this is the kid who was going to be our... No. Okay, but we're going to give him some land anyway. I trust this guy for whatever reason. 24 in a month now without any of the debuffs from being over our limit. Right, we can get another men at arms regiment. I've just spent a few years, just when I get money, slowly upgrading everything, as you can see. Stuff being built everywhere, which is great because, yeah, we need to start getting our money up. 20 is good, but it could definitely be a little bit higher. Now, we can get another thing of siege. I'm going to build a lot of um, barracks. So I'm thinking more armored footmen may be pretty decent. We are next going to go for war against this guy up here. Definitely going to go for this guy. 175 gold and I can get a book artifact. Should I try it? You know what? That's not bad, especially the monthly learning lifestyle experience. I mean, that's that's actually quite good. And we can actually start upgrading the castles as well. It's going to give us more taxes as well because we are making decent money as well, which is great. So um, once this has finished converting, I think it's got about two years left. We're going to go for this guy up here. Considered a master. Okay, so she's considered a master by her peers. Should we do it at 72 gold? That's actually great. That's actually very cheap. So let's go for it. Okay, we've got another son. Might not need him, but we'll still try and train him up because he might be better than this kid. So we'll see. Okay, a most miraculous fish. So you know what? We can do this. There's a 98% chance we increase our learning by five. Like, that is absolutely insane. You know what? Yeah, we got we got the witch secret, but now our learning is 31, which is massive. Um, I see that as a positive, to be honest. I'm probably not going to do the witch coven stuff, but even still. So let's see what I got then. I got an excellent tapestry. Should we put that up on our wall? I think we should. So what effects do we get? Short rain duration minus 16% and a court grand air bonus. So it's not actually got great effects, but it's a masterwork. So we'll chuck it on the wall. Looks pretty cool. Okay, with that converted, we're going to try and fabricate a claim up here. Hopefully we get one on the duchy. Let's hope, please. Nice, we've got a claim on the whole duchy. That's fantastic. So we can go for war for this. But we're just going to wait a second because we did just invite some commanders. So we're going to let all three of them 
come to our court. And then we're going to go straight for the wall. We've got one guy already and he's fantastic, as you can see. Did make him convert, though. He was some other religion. Okay, and that would mean that is all three of them. So let's get them all to convert and let's go for it. I think we can destroy this guy. Right, let's move our thing there. Raise all. We've got a decent army now. 4,700. Oh god, our daughter was a stillborn and the wife died giving birth. So, hey, we're on the market again, I guess. Um, I'd rather someone infertile now, to be honest. So we're gonna go infertile. I'm just gonna find someone, yeah, probably with great stewardship just for the money to be completely honest with you. Yeah, that'll work. Now we're not above domain limit either, which is great. Right, 100% on that. So now we got all that duchy above us, right? Okay, we did keep the vassals. They're going to be a pain, I'll tell you that much. But I mean, I don't really care about tyranny, so um, we could just try and imprison them. And we're going to have to keep doing this fight, basically, until they admit defeat and we got rid of all of them. Did you just see that? That mugged them right off. They went to go fight my army when there was like 70 of them there. By the time it took them to get there, the rest of them raised and just destroyed them. So yeah, I think that's two vassals now. We can actually just revoke their titles. So let's do that. We have a truce with him. Well, that's just a pain. All right, we're going to negotiate release. We're going to demand his conversion. And we'll do it that way. And you, we're just going to demand your conversion. I'll leave you as long as you're not a pain. Okay, he did. Well, if you're going to do that, I'll ransom her off to you for 10 gold. What a deal. Right, he's come of age. Please. Wait, he was in stewardship? Oh, I thought he was in learning. I honestly thought he was in learning. He turned out decent though, so it's not that bad. He turned out decent. I mean, yeah, not bad at all. Nice, we got another dynasty legacy. So we can get this now, which means they can get better education traits. So why not? That's a decent perk to get. We can now buy a claim. I don't want... Yeah, we just want the Duchy of Mallorca. So it's going to cost us 500 Piety. Do we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Could we actually defeat these guys? Probably not if they call their allies, to be honest. But, I mean, we can definitely make some allies as well. Right, let's make an alliance with Wessex for sure. Right, so I just married off all my daughters. And now, yeah, look at that. I mean, what are they going to do? England are not in war. So I think we go for it right now. We can buy some mercenaries as well. So let's go for it. Duchy of Mallorca. Let's go straight into another war. We may as well just buy a nice bunch of mercenaries as well. Some decent ones. We don't have any skirmishers like pikemen. So maybe these be a good addition. Ooh, they have raised all the way over there. Oh no, England's just gone into their own war. Wow, hey, Northern Army, stop. Because I was chatting shit about them earlier. Well, let's just jump on the war target now, maybe, before they get thousands of troops there. Hopefully. That'd probably be a smart thing to do. Yeah, they've got 5k down there, but they have no one on the main duchy. So if we just get on there first and siege, hopefully our allies actually come and help, right? Okay, England's war has ended. So hopefully they're on their way. Oh no, someone's become his steward and won't leave because they've uh, used a hook or something. So we have to be something else. I'll probably just go in Marshall then, I, I guess. What are they? Ah, uh, they're not going to escape in time. No, okay, that was a bad idea, apparently. Oh, now England's in another war. This is going awfully. No, England's leaving, please. No. No, I'm just going to send this army straight to Aquitaine's capital. Hopefully, that means they've chased. They are chasing, so let's jump on you. Oh, they've turned around again. Why are they doing this to me? They're mugging me right off. But you know what? We're going to keep at this and try and siege Aquitaine's capital. I think this is a losing battle, to be honest. Which is one of the main problems with... They're off as well. Okay, bye. This is one of the main problems with, like, island fights. They can be difficult. So you need to well outnumber them to actually be able to siege. They want a white piece. I'm going to decline because we are sieging through their capital and that. I was hoping we maybe get a good capture, but... It's okay. Not the worst thing. We need to run. They're just going to keep coming back. Oh, they caught us. That's... Yeah. Damn. So that means we're going to lose all the war target completely, which is awful. You know what? They want to white piece here. I'm going to have to agree. We're going to have to leave it there. If England didn't have to keep going for their own walls, I think we could have done that. So at least we know now we need to build up our army a lot more. I wasn't going to do this, but we may as well take the decision to secure the Mediterranean. We need Mallorca, which we just failed to get, but I believe we will get in the future. And we just need this area down here. Easy, right? I mean, it's kind of an, I mean, sort of an island, right? Yeah, that counts, I think. Yeah, yeah, look, definitely an island, right? So you know what? We're going to do that for, oh God. No, 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 no. He's escaped, but he's still my guy. Like, we want you gone. No, we will imprison you. We can't get him. We will keep trying until we get him. Okay, we got him. So, we're going to negotiate release, banish, and we get all his gold. So, 3,000. Here we are. 
So we got about 3,000 there. And we're going to change fabricate and we're going to start doing it over here. I mean, we have we can buy claims, right? Yeah, let's... Right, let's do that then. Declare war. I think we can declare war on any of these guys now. Right, let's start this then. Let's start going this direction. Raise all. Can we have some come of age? So now we've got to make a decision. Do we want to play as this guy who has 16 learning, but he's kind of terrible everywhere else? Or this guy? I think... I think we go with this guy, right? We'll leave it for now. We are 49, but we're, we should be okay to live for a little bit longer, and then we can kind of decide a bit later. Okay, 100%. Enforce that. Done. Nice, nice, nice. We can go for DJ Ray War on this guy as well now, so we're going to do that. Get this as quick as possible, and then we can try and get Menorca again. Okay, so with both of them done, what are these? We sieged simple gloves, but we need these two. This is going to be a much tougher war. This guy's, you know, way, way stronger. Uh, we should be able to take him. Uh, if we just go on a pilgrimage, right? Um, Where is it? We're at war. Okay, we need to wait for this war to end. We've been on for eight years. I could go and help, but I really can't be bought. Oh, do you know what? Let's go help him. We're just going to send our men at arms up there. Oh, it was minus 100%. Okay, it just ended as soon as I went up there. Oh, and that guy... What has happened here? Okay, so now Wessex is just in Wales, it looks like. Come, that guy is huge. Yeah, okay, that has probably made my life worse because they're just even scarier now, whoever they are. Yeah, let's go on that pilgrimage we were on about. Nice, right, so now we can buy the claim and we can do it all in one war then. No, we can't. Okay. Great. Never mind then. We're going to have to do it in two wars. I hope we just get a claim on both of them, which is probably not going to happen. So we'll just do it one at a time. Okay, we did finally win that war. It actually took a while. There was a lot of back and forth there. But we got it, which is fantastic. So we can just one more count a year. So we're going to have a truce for a while. That's fine. We need to try and get Malta in the meantime because you know, we kind of failed to get that. We do have a ridiculous amount of money now, which is great. God, this guy's 17 and he's drunkard. He's had a hard life. Look at him. He's down to one county. We haven't helped him at all. He's asked. But I mean, we sent him some money. I don't know what he done with it all but you know you know what i think we should commission an artifact we have like so much money it's just kind of sitting there doing nothing right i think we have a better chance to get molten now they're at war i mean it's probably an easy war for them to put down it's just an uprising but they're much weaker and we can afford a lot of mercenaries let's buy like really good ones when we can so yeah the company of saint george catalan band of menorca yeah let's get them they're gonna be one army they're gonna march straight over to menorca and then where's our thing we're gonna raise the rest of our troops over here and they're gonna go over there as well just get a big siege on as soon as possible Ooh, an attempt on my life somebody tried to kill me i wonder who that was because i don't feel like we've got any big enemies i would actually be interested to find that out now, inspiration was realized. Let's have a look. We've got a chest. Uh, this it was. Okay, that's quite bad, to be honest. Not the best. All right, let's go for it. If they're still there, we need to go for the fight. Like, we, we, we've got to. No, we got to follow them. We need to actually get this fight and win. We need to defeat their army quick. An excellent translation. So, we just got, for 10 years, more piety, more prestige, and clergy opinion. A lifestyle perk, and plus... Oh, no. We lose plus one in but we gain a lifestyle perk, which means... You ready? Whole of body, yes. Pretty great. I think we're done with the learning tree. I mean, there's nothing else we need. I guess I can just go down stewardship and just hoard money, I guess. That's one way of doing things. So, it was you who tried to murder me. You, really? Really, really, really? Where are you? Oh, fair enough. Right, fair enough. I, you know what? I kind of understand. I... Didn't realize you were now my vassal. Oh, we've got two of these guys. Okay, we might have to sort these out after because we've got two vassals we don't really want. You know what? Have a favor if you're going to convert and make my life easier. Yeah, crack on. Now, we've got the whole war target. So, yeah, we're just going to hold this out now. Not do anything. All of them should start gaining supplies and we should win this war. Ooh, we got a fine sword plus six prowess. Yeah, I'll definitely use that. Oh my god, he's my spy master. No, 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 no. You're gonna make me imprison you and get rid of you? Yeah, okay, I'll do that in a minute, because you're gonna kill me in a second otherwise. I just I just know. Okay, we swapped him, so he's not my spy master. I'm not too bothered now. I just didn't want him being it. Cause he hates me. Okay, my wife died. So that's his second, third wife? I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna make sure they're infertile. Actually, no. We can if I'm embrace celibacy so let's do that and it doesn't matter if they're fertile or not 21 um okay that's not as good but it might yeah that's just about good enough i've got our mercenaries left just hope they don't come rushing back to unsiege things we've almost won this there's a dangerous faction on the way you want the duchy of sicily it's not happening to be honest with you oh, come on war i've been holding this war target for ages please who are you? No, whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on? Why are you getting involved? Like, what are you doing? I'm almost one. We're 95%. Please, like, not now. They're not even... Like, we're just getting full on beat up now. Come on, 97, 97. Yes, they haven't unseized the war target. Yes. We've won. Yes. Good timing. Right. So, 
Do we have we have more vassals, which may be a problem, but we only need one more county now to secure the Mediterranean. We need to start getting rid of some vassals, though, especially like these guys who absolutely hate me. So we're going to try and imprison. It's not going to work. He's going to rise up and do all that stuff. But, you know, crack on. Quite a big uprising, but we should be able to manage it. They hurry up and raise, please. What is going on? Come on. Oh, God. There's now a peasant uprising as well. We can call the Byzantine Emperor to actually help. So I'm definitely going to do that. He's of the Byzantine Empire, but he's not actually the Emperor. It's just like some wannabe. All right, okay. I just got baited into calling an absolute nobody to my wall. You know what? We're, gonna, we're just going to buy some mercenaries. We can afford it. Let's not lose because we don't want to buy mercenaries. Wait, why was the war was invalidated? Great. Yes. Uh, yes. I bought all the mercenaries just for that to happen. Wait, why are they just... Wait, what war is this? Reclamation of Menorca. Where did this... What is going on? I did not see that. Right, great. So we need to raise all right up here. We're going to get a big army and we're going to charge for it and hopefully win. Let's go. No, we're going to lose. Don't don't go. Oh, God, we're going. Yeah, okay, we won. We won. We beat all of them. Fantastic. We can take the decision to found a holy order. Shall we do it? Yeah, go on then. We'll found a holy order. Why not? 100%. Okay, right. That war's over with, thankfully. We kept Menorca, which is fantastic. Uh, we need to build up our army just a sec again. How have we lost this? Who are you? But no, I, I, I don't think so. I mean, we're about to secure the Mediterranean and you think you can just do that. All right, so with that out of the way, we got one more county to get. We did just finish whatever fascination it was so we can move on to something else. Men at arms again, for sure. Well, I think we go for this war now and then we can actually secure the Mediterranean. Let's get out of the way. Raise all men at arms gets quicker. Get them straight on the war target. And then we're going to raise all right there then. So we have two armies up. Enemy Holy Order. So we'll hire the Holy Order as well. And we're going to get them on the siege. We've got some land to give away as well. We can't be holding all of this because it's just affecting us. So yeah, we're just going to give it away to people of our culture when we get them. Just like that. But I reckon we're going to win. So let's go in for the fight as well. Oh no, we lost. Um, okay, we'll just hire some mercenaries. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, so they didn't manage to get our other army, which sucks because our army is now up here. But we can catch them and actually, yeah, we should win that. Ah, so they've gone to try and siege our capital. They're doing my strategy. Rush the capital. But yeah, we're gonna, we should get them. But they're just holding out on the mountains, which is fine by me because we literally have the war target. So, you know, you do you. Yeah, I took the risk. Oh, God, they have my son. Oh, God. <laughs> what are the odds in that? 100%. Finally, okay. We are going to want to get our son out of prison, though. They did release him. Okay, they did. Fantastic. Completely control my Wait, what? How did I lose that? I have no idea. Right, okay. Let me just quickly fix this. Nice. There we are. We captured his son. So, oh no, it's actually him. Never mind then. So we can put an end to that. Now, where is it? Okay, why is it still not there? What is going on? Huh? What? Wait, why? How did that happen? Well, that is rude, that is. That is what is going on? It's like a nose. It's like, ah, oh, you almost got it. <laughs> no. But right, I am 70, so I'm thinking about succession. This guy's 45. Don't really want to play as him. This guy's 36. So what we're going to do is we're going to just have to disinherit him. Um, we'll maybe let him, yeah, go have some kids or whatever. Just, you know. I'm going to try and find some good for you to mine out because you are 36. So let's have a look. A genius? 39 or 13. Yeah, I think that'll last longer. And it's aligns with Wessex. Why not? So let's do that. Because we got to get some mercenaries. Because we're going to be fighting Italy soon, it seems. Oh, they're not even that strong. Eh, go on then. Raise all men at arms. We're going to go over here. And then we're going to raise all there. So we can get the men at arms there quicker. Siege the war target. And we're going to make sure we do not let go of this war target. Let's see. They've got 8,000. I think we can defeat all these guys on our own. We'll call this guy, though, just for good measure. Why not? Nice. We captured a valuable hostage. Stage. We're up 76%. Nice. Hopefully now we haven't lost any more land in the meantime. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah. So it's not going to be as effective for us. But if you do save it for a while, you like, get like crazy amounts of renown. Like absolutely insane broken amounts of renown. But we will get more prestige, more naval speed, better advantage and development growth. We get 350 renown and we get a new kingdom. And all these duchies become de jure part of that kingdom. And that's why I want this so bad, basically. So, rulers of the Mediterranean. Well, the taking of Mallorca, Sardinia, and Sicily, we have declared ourselves the righteous rulers of the Mediterranean Sea. Envoys of sail to all corners of the earth. This sea and everything it touches belongs to us. So now, we should get Casus Belli on... Yeah, any county that has shores on the sea. And this is the thing that's insane. Now, it's not that insane now for us because there's only, what, one ruler from our family, right? Is this, is it there? They fixed it. 
Did they remove the bonus? I think they have. Typically, you'd get extra for each person alive and it'd like stack and it'd be insane. But I imagine they fixed it because I remember I did it myself. I did record it, but I just thought it wasn't a very interesting video, so I didn't upload it. But yeah, I think they fixed it. Interesting, but still. Now I have a proper kingdom title and all of it is DJ Rayars, which is fantastic. Right, so I'm going to leave that there today. We um, completely got control of the Mediterranean and we secured the Mediterranean Sea. So for the rest of the island, we've got a couple down here. We'll have no problem getting. Yeah, there's a couple left around of the Iceland. I don't know. Does this count? Do we have to get the UK? I don't know. Maybe we do. I'll leave that up to you because, yeah, if you want to see a part two, let me know and we can definitely wrap this all up in one more episode. But if you did enjoy, do consider subscribing. And of course, thank you so much for watching. But of course, a massive thank you to Arcane, Intermio1 and Victor Voss Anderson.